land. My ancestors land over here before this school was erected. And it would be disrespectful of the sacrifices of the oppressed for us to stand and be silent and simply just wait for four years. Woo! Yeah! While we're under the very small thumb of oppression. <laughs> I teach at this institution. Woo! And when I teach, I think about the future of America. I think about the fact that in 2012, the majority of children born were children of color. I think about the fact that the majority of people getting a college degree are women. I think about the fact woo, woo. that the Black Lives Matter campaign is led by queer women. I think, woo. I think about the fact that in North Dakota, it is women and children fighting for water rights. I think, woo. I think about the fact that our future is at stake. And it has nothing to do with Donald Trump, but everything to do with the racism, the sexism, the homophobia that pervades our country. And it is time that we take a stand, otherwise we will fall together. We are all here gathered today because we're lost, because we're hurt, because we're looking for that, that soul that will soothe our wounds that have been opened by the ripping of the band-aid in this particular election. We are looking for something to heal us. We are coming together, putting our energy together, hoping that something happens. We are here because we're looking for an answer. Martin Luther King said that it's only in the night can we see the stars. And today we have gathered when the biggest moon is shining. There is purpose to us being here tonight. Woo! Yeah. Yeah. I think that we should take advantage of this opportunity thinking about the people who are here. I see mostly women. I see mostly old men. I see some people of color. I see allies. I see people who are part of larger communities connected to those who felt the need to support Donald Trump. I see access to change. 